Today I want to talk to you about the AGC cordless 18 volt grinder. We've had out for a couple couple months now. Um, it's an 8500 RPM grinder, adjustable speed, it goes down to 4500. It has a 5 8 inch arbor on it, so it can use standard US um, grinding discs, cutoff discs, flap discs. They have to be a 4.5 inch diameter uh, wheel, but the 5 8 inch arbor will fit on there. Um, we've got a couple different shrouds for it as well. The shrouds, if you can see, they're a little different. We've got an open face shroud. That is for your flat discs or your grinding discs. And then we've got an enclosed shroud that's for your cutoff wheels. To put the shrouds on, it's fairly simple. There's a black spring lever right here. Just lock that into place and then I just have to pull that spring lever and I can rotate that and that locks into place 360 degrees. The arbor nut is a quick change arbor nut. So we just got this little lever on here and they can flip up. We've got a spindle lock on the top. We have onboard electronics. So we've got the thermal overload protection so you can't overheat the tool. It's gonna shut itself down and protect itself. We also have a safety feature on here that if the battery were to die while you're using the cutoff wheel, you take the battery off, you grab a new battery, fully charged battery, put it on there, it's not gonna start up uh, automatically. You have to recycle the switch to get that to turn back on. Um, the onboard electronics also is a lasting feature in here because we have a fully encapsulated uh, motor and electronics. So no dust while you're cutting, if say you're cutting tile or you're grinding concrete block, none of that dust is gonna to get to the electronics in the motor. And that's one of the things that usually kills a grinder very, very quickly. So it's fully encapsulated, it's not going to um, damage the motor. Uh, the motor and uh, is actually separated from the housing itself. So a lot of that vibration is gonna stay in here and not transfer to where you're holding it with your hand. So it's a very comfortable, ergonomic tool to use. Um, as you can see, the battery is in a different position. Most batteries are going this direction. So I put the battery on. Now it's going in the, the vertical position. My, the time I put our VibraStop vibration dampening handle on here, now when I'm cutting, it's very comfortable to use. Got support up here, or control up here, and control down here as well. So now I'll show you just a couple different applications we can do with the grinder. So I've gone ahead and I've installed the protective shroud for a cutoff wheel. I've installed a cutoff wheel. I've installed our uh, VibraStop anti-vibration handle as well. Uh, so now I can show you what I can do on just some threaded rod to cut down some smaller pieces. So now that I've got that cut off, I want to soften those edges, they're pretty sharp. So I want to switch out the shroud and switch out the cutoff wheel to an abrasive disc. First thing I want to do is make sure I take the battery off. Once I've done that, all I have to do to take off the cutoff wheel is just flip up that little tab, press the spindle lock on the back, spin that off. Now I want to switch out the shrouds as well, and to do that, there's just this little black lever back here. Push that, and I rotate it to 12 o'clock on the tool, and that allows me to slip it off. Place the open face one on there, same exact way, put it on at 12 o'clock. Rotate it to where I want it to go. Out there. Just do everything in reverse. Push my spindle lock, and then just flap that down. Put this back on. Now I'm ready to go.